Hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu. I was uh, intrigued by this uh, diagram published uh, some time ago by uh, Sergei on uh, <coughs> 27 of May. And this is a diagram which is supposed to have some uh, possibilities to uh, get some peaks on the top of a uh, sine wave like shown here below. We have a sine wave uh, as input and this diagram above will produce some uh, pulses positive and minus on top of this. Uh, So I built this uh, diagram using the same uh, components being some uh, op amps TL084 and a, uh, another op amp what is it? A <coughs> the LF442 and some uh, transistors at, as the, at the output. So I came up with this uh, little diagram, the bottom one. The top one is uh, just for making uh, plus and minus voltage out of my single rail power supply. Because these op amps require plus and minus voltage. And I'm putting in now a uh, sine wave 50 hertz from uh, a uh, toroid. And I am measuring uh, with the yellow probe this sine wave. And I have one probe, the red probe, at one of the two outputs. And we can see that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm missing another probe, but uh, I only have a two channel probe, so I cannot. Uh, show them both but we see at the yellow trace which is the uh, 13 volts peak to peak 50 hertz uh, from the transformer and on top of that we have uh, on the positive uh, we have this uh, pulse 7 point something volts I can now move uh, the red probe to the other side, the other transistor, and we can see that we have also uh, the same pulse on the uh, the bottom half. So we uh, this circuit seems to uh, work very nicely, and it's a uh, circuit which uh, detects the peak of the, the sine wave and then uh, puts in a uh, signal. So I am planning to use my former coal shorting, my double sided coal shorting device but now not using the function generator but putting these two signals on the gate and that will shorten out uh, on top of the sine wave, the bottom of the sine wave these uh, this edit this AC, AC signal so that's the meaning uh, so I will hook up now uh, the both uh, circuits they are already there but not yet connected the gates and then I ha should have a uh, synced 50 Hertz uh, circuit shortening at top top of the peaks and bottom of the peaks Okay, you're welcome back. Uh, it's been a few days since this uh, former video. Uh, problem with this diagram is that I didn't like uh, the way it was uh, hooked up directly to uh, 220 volts without uh, separation. So I changed uh, the input by putting a transformer here, 220 volt, 12 volts, as an input so it's uh, not directly uh, on the grid 
A second problem I have with the output here, the low output, is that it's a negative pulse. And as I am using here two uh, N-channel MOSFETs from which the drains, uh, sorry, the sources are both connected to, uh, to, to ground, to zero. I have to drive the boat gates with a positive signal compared to uh, the source. So I could not use uh, this negative, uh, this, the upper one was okay, because it's a positive pulse compared to, to ground. But this is a negative pulse, so I had to come up with a solution to change it to a positive pulse. And I found this little diagram on uh, the internet. <coughs> so this negative pulse is uh, being input here. There's a minus and a plus voltage and here we get this uh, output a plus voltage. Which we can use to drive the gate like the other one. So if we now put the two circuits together, I have here my uh, MOSFETs and my uh, double rectified uh, diagram. And I have here below a drawing of my, uh, my sinker, I call it, with both now positive outputs going to the gates instead of the function generator I used before. So this, di this uh, is the circuit, so I have to put some extra transistors here to make a positive uh, pulse and I hooked it to my uh, dual MOSFET uh, configuration. And I've hooked up a little lamp uh, bulb, 6 volt bulb. And at the moment I uh, have something like 7 volts peak-to-peak uh, -peak input on the yellow trace, which is uh, the probe is at the uh, the junction of uh, the uh, both fast uh, diodes in this diagram. So we have here the full uh, sine wave. If I now crank up uh, the voltage with the, uh, we can see the increase of the uh, of the sine wave, but we also see already some signs of uh, shortening one side, and now the other side kicks in. So now this little diagram is sinking on top of the positive and the negative uh, sine wave. And opening uh, the MOSFET, shorting it at the top. And it's now uh, really rock steady synced on the 50 Hz. Well, in the former situation, I had to uh, hand sync, manual sync the boat function generator or the function generator with the 50 Hz of, uh, of the mains. Only problem I still have is that uh, the signal is not strong enough to completely. I, I guess I am lacking some gate uh, signal, so the MOSFET is not completely shortened till zero. The same here. So I guess I still need a MOSFET driver to uh, crank up the uh, the gate signal. The red trace above is. Uh, it's one of the gate signals. And we can see that uh, the peak to peak voltage is uh, 90 volts. But that's because of the spikes now. When the MOSFETs are turning on and off. So this works uh, kind of okay, but uh, there's very little uh, uh, control of the width of the uh, pulse 
in this diagram so it's it's a big chunk and it makes uh, this little lamp uh, go dim when it kicks in when I now decrease it's now on only uh, the sine wave no MOSFET being uh, used to shorten uh, the sine wave it's now kind of bright and when I uh, crank up the voltage it goes down because uh, of the massive chunk out of this sine wave we do have some spikes but it's uh, not turning on the light any brighter on the contrary it's making it dimmer so I can only try one thing and that's uh, to install a MOSFET driver to try to get uh, a real short all the way to zero but uh, I guess uh, we can see that uh, this does not lead to any uh, more higher energy in, into the bulb, more energy, more light in the bulb okay this is where I am at the moment so thank you for watching